There's nothing more satisfying than having an organized space for your sports cards. So let's run through how I organize and sort my sports cards. Now this method of organizing does work for me, having a medium sized collection as well as an eBay store with around 2000 listings. But if you do have a bigger collection or eBay store, like a lot of people would, there's probably better ways of going about it. And I'm all ears and open to hearing suggestions that you guys may have. Obviously being organized does give off a few benefits and I'm gonna go through them. Firstly, finding cards when an eBay order does come through does save a lot of time and reduces headaches. Secondly, if you do have people coming over, it does look much better if you do have an organized card space rather than having your cards all over your table. Next up, there is that benefit as well of increased sales because you can find a card if you do need to list it immediately and then you also don't have to worry about canceling an order because you can't find a card that you've listed. And lastly, this might be a little bit more personal, but I find this whole process of organizing and sorting my sports cards very relaxing and calming all right let's go behind the structure itself so i got this shelving unit from bunnings so bunnings down here in australia uh there's two of them here so you've got one here and then you've got another one here so i got that it was like 55 bucks uh, i did look at ikea and their shelving units but i felt like it was more for looks if anything and you can see my mum in the background but um, yeah, like I felt like you kind of need, especially with cards being relatively heavy, you need something that's almost industrial and can carry a lot of weight rather than anything for looks. Uh, and these are a solid color, so they do, yeah, look quite all right. They do fit in, in the living room, but yeah, $55 each for, for, for these. And I'll leave anything that I have in the description, um, just in case you guys want to uh, go straight to it. So we'll go row by row. Uh, I guess if you want to start out. I do use graded card storage boxes. Everyone likes to store their cards differently. Uh, I've seen people, um, I do have an example here, but they use these sort of boxes. I'm not a massive fan of them because they can only fit top loaders. I like having all my, uh, you know, my graded cards in here as well as, you know, one touches, top loaders and everything. Like the only thing that doesn't really fit in here are booklet cards, but I guess, you know, you're not really gonna have too many. But yeah, these graded cardboard boxes, uh, they're hard to find. You can find them in Australia, but in America, they're obviously a little bit easy to find, but uh, they're about $15 per box. Um, they have a sort of divider in the middle. And then what I've done basically is put uh, team dividers, cutting my own piece of cardboard, putting some painter's tape over the top of it, and then writing teams on each. And then basically putting cards of each, yeah, of each team in each sort of team divider um yeah and i find that really helps you know if you feel like uh I, I like the painter's tape idea because it just again if you stuff it up you can always put tape over it and change the team um but yeah you can see i've got each team in here yeah milwaukee you can go down to memphis orlando it's got a huge stack uh and then moving forward nba stack we also have pc my pc video will come out soon and aussies i think because we have a lot of aussies that are in the nba anymore if we go down to nfl NFL's the same. Uh, yeah, it's, it's well organized. I've got it all in alphabetical order. I can pull cards out quite easily. At the very front as well, I've obviously got what category they are. So NBA, NFL, we have AFL, tennis, and MLB. So I don't really have too many of those cards, but um, yeah, the AFL pile isn't too big. We've got the tennis pile, which isn't too big, boxing. Uh, we've got MLB, which I probably need to get a separate box for. We have soccer, which is his own box. Soccer, I've gone a little bit different because um, it is a little bit harder to organize with that. And because I don't know player movements as much, I've just gone by set. So I've got everything else that isn't one of these sets. So 2014 Prism World Cup, got EPL Prism, I've got uh, 2018 Prism World Cup, and I've got pretty much everything else uh, just through here. So moving to the top row, I have spoken about this in a previous video, but I like to have all my envelopes uh, and all my packaging pretty much done so that when I do get an order, it's pretty much put the card in, cardboard, just send it off straight away. I don't want to be messing around uh, and having to pre-do everything. So uh, I have, yeah, envelopes, padded mailers, all done with stamps. As you can see, really easy. I've got a huge stack. I've probably got 20 on the go at a time. I always have a do not bend sticker. So very simple, but it keeps everything efficient for me. Uh, I have like 2000 items in my eBay store. So, you know, gotta be quite efficient when it comes to this sort of stuff. Otherwise you can get quite slack. I do try to ship everything out. Uh, almost same business day, if not the next business day. So yeah, everything's all organized. It's You'll see there's more organization behind it, but 
this is pretty much my packaging stack there. And then if we move back down a level, again, this sort of area is not as organized, but pretty much got more of the accessories here. So team bags, uh, graded card sleeves, registered labels. These are a, a massive time hack. So I get a, a box of these at Australia Post, stick them on um, pretty much if I get a reg registered order, get the label, chuck it on one of these, put the label on, which I'll show you later. I have a label printer. Um, and then I have top loaders here. There's more top loaders in the background. Uh, card sleeves, business card, uh, playing cards, <laughs> tissues. Uh, yeah, top loaders. This is great actually uh, for removing light scratches on your slabs. You can get this one at Super Cheap Auto. I'm sure America's got a similar version of it or it might even be an American brand. I don't even know. But yeah, this works very great on lightly scratched uh, one, uh, slabs. Works very well. And then in terms of cleaning cards, Lens cleaner I've got there. So a few years ago, I did read a great article on Sports Card Investor. It was written by a guy named Kami who runs a massive eBay store and sells wrestling cards. He was basically giving out tips on selling on eBay. And one of the massive tips that he did give out was that if it takes more than a minute to find a card in your collection, then you probably need to do a little bit better in terms of your sports card organizing. So yeah, since then it's sort of lingered on in my brain and I try to keep everything organized and I think that one minute rule is a great way to kind of keep track of things. All right, so we're gonna go a live case example, try and roll five virtual dice and we're gonna find the card within a minute and I'm gonna try and prove to you how quickly we can find it. So eight, 13, 15, 18. So we have 18 there. Uh, let's go back to the eBay store. Four, 8, 12, 16, 18. So DeAndre Aiden, Crusade out of 149. So we go to the NBA stack here, find Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix is actually, <laughs> I've got to do this one-handed. Oh no, I've actually jinxed myself here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was right there. So I, that was a bit of luck, but if I had two hands, I would literally grab the whole, half the pile out uh, and then pretty much go through them really quickly. And yeah, that was a bit of luck there, finding it within almost 15 seconds. All right, moving to the third level of the shelving unit. This is where it gets a little bit more unorganized, but uh, we'll work with it. Uh, so I have the Ultra Pro card sorting trays. So I'm not really much of a set collector. So I know a lot of people use these for like set collecting and all that sort of stuff, but I use it to try and help me sort even more. Normally the far left one are newest pickups and I have to save those for uh, a mail day in the future. So I've already recorded this part, but this all this stuff is uh, being, yeah, being organized for future videos. Uh, next one here, so obviously scanning with the eBay store. Uh, this is all, yeah, again, I don't, I try not, to, I should have this a bit more organized, but uh, this one is all, all stuff that's on eBay right now on auction. Uh, and then a lot of loose cards here through the back. If there's anything of value, I try to not keep it in here because it'll just get lost. Uh, I do have a scanned sort of, so they don't throw away these cards, the, uh, what do they call them? The decoys in packs because I have a fair few of them and I always use them to help me label a lot of things. So uh, if I've scanned a card onto my laptop, I separate them into, into sport um, and then obviously scanned NBA. Behind that, you can see what cards I've scanned that have to be uploaded. That should actually be over here in the scanned NFL. So, <laughs> Svi Mihailuk, uh, and then scanned NFL. There's a bunch of here that I have to upload. A lot of loose cards here in the back that need a lot of sorting. Uh, on eBay piles, so this, actually, no, this is, no, that's not actually a thing anymore. Um, I need to actually fix that. List on eBay pile cards, I have to list on eBay. Photos, cards that I need to put onto the Instagram and take photos of. Uh, don't really do auctions as much, so yeah, I guess this should really be here, the list on auction pile. Uh, grading, any cards that I think will be worthwhile for grading. I've only got one right now, and I'm still waiting for Kurt's Card Care to come in because I want to clean this up and see if it can go in. Otherwise, I'll just sell raw uh, and then just some loose cards in the background. All right, so this box is a little bit unorganized, but I am keen on setting up at a future card show in terms of selling. Uh, I've only started to really fill this box up, but gonna do some value boxes and then use some stickers at the back of it to help me keep track of pricing. Otherwise, it will become a bit of a hot mess. Uh, just, just got some graded cards here. So a lot of it, this whole pile here on the right side and the middle, are basically cards that I just have on Facebook sales and I just pretty much uh, recycle it and 
put it back on there. So yeah, the, all these cards here are pretty much gonna go on Facebook sales. And then uh, by keeping it all in order in terms of when I take the photo, when I do have a Facebook sale, I'll basically just go through, go in order in terms of, you know, who bought a card or whatever, and then write it down. And then when I go through the, the whole sale again and then actually try and pick out the cards and package them, everything's in order and sales don't take as long. So I try to make everything efficient because otherwise you just lose motivation in terms of all that sort of stuff. Um, the plan in the future is I wanna get another one of these boxes, but one that doesn't fit uh, these. So it's actually more one of these boxes um, that just do cards that are sleeved. And those are gonna be like the $1 value boxes because I think those would be more worth it than uh, this one because otherwise I'm giving a top load to everyone and $1 cards probably don't need it. Uh, these two boxes are a little bit unorganized, but basically I have sorted them into NBA, NFL and other, but these need to be put on eBay. This is more the eBay box. It's not really the one that I had there. I'd probably say this is more the eBay box that has to get uploaded or put into sales, but yeah, I pretty much just grab a chunk of these and then go, yep, I need to scan these, put it on eBay uh, and then list them. And then once I obviously uh, scan them, they go onto the scan pile, and once the scan pile gets done, they get put into each respective box. So a lot of, I feel like this process works for me. It's really, it's, it's a lot, but I feel like it's quite simple and it does work for me. Uh, NFL, other sports, got a lot of tennis here. Again, I've got a lot to sort through. Uh, I do buy and sell a fair lot of cards, and there's a lot that I will show that's a bit unorganized, but yeah, again, it works for me. And then stationary all here, tape, uh, Stanley knife, pen, Sharpie. Uh, yeah, that's that's the third row. And then the bottom row uh, here, probably the most unorganized part, if anything. But these are all, that, that pretty much needs to go into here. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the process. It's pretty much, you're moving up a level when, when you get more organized. But yeah, I've, I've got a lot of unorganized cards in here that I need to go through. Um, moving on, as I was saying, I need another box of this because I want to put my $1 cards in it. But these are actually, funnily enough, these are all cards that I have to give out. So I, like I said in one of my recent videos, I have a lot of cards that I have to give out. So uh, there is a lot of cards that I've inherited here through purchasing collections or a lot of base cards that I've ripped myself. Uh, and pretty much when I have an eBay order, I just grab like as much as I, I feel like it can fit and then I'll just chuck it into, um, yeah, into the team bag as well. Uh, and yeah, these are really handy. I think, yeah, I wanna have another one of this, like I said, just to, to put into uh, as, as a $1 value box. And then yeah, below that, I just mentioned that before in the video. I, I know a lot of, oh, actually I'll just lift this up because Otherwise, people will not know what I'm talking about. Hey, I've seen some people use these and I'm not a massive fan of them, as I said, but you can get these at Bunnings, you can get them at Kmart as well. Uh, the relatively inexpensive way of organizing your cards. So I'm not, I'm not against it, but I have a lot of old top loaders here. Uh, and basically there's a lot of loose cards here that just have to be sorted as well. Uh, and yeah, I'm not a fan of them because again, like I said, you can't fit. Well, you can, but getting them out, <laughs> Uh, is pretty hard. And as you can see, I've just emptied out this whole pile here. But yeah, that's that's why I like uh, the, the graded card boxes a little bit more because yeah, you can kind of access everything a little bit easier compared to this where it's very select in terms of what you want. But again, if you, if you like this method, I'm not against it. It's just my preferred way. It does cost a little bit more to use these boxes and they are very hard to ship as well when you're buying them online, but I like them. I like them a little bit more. So this is the recording studio. It is very unorganized in terms of what's going on here, but I do live at home with my parents and hopefully when I do move out in the future, I can get my own sort of space in terms of recording because I do feel like quality of my content can improve in terms of lighting and all that sort of stuff, but I just don't have the space, unfortunately, at the moment, but I'm making I'm making do of what I do have. So I use soft boxes and all that sort of stuff. I don't know, maybe potentially in the future, I'll show you how I record uh, and go a bit more in depth, but tripod here. Uh, we have loose Dak Prescott here. So this is the scanner I use. I've, talked about in a previous video go check it out but it is um yeah go straight into the computer i actually just moved this onto the table over here and then i just connect my laptop to that chuck the uh the cards in whilst they're scanning and then i do it whilst i'm watching tv so it's very easy a lot of loose stuff here uh this 
sort of area, another card sorting trail. I pretty much just give these, these are more cards that I've ripped and I tend to just give them out. So uh, uh, cards that I tend to rip, I really try not, I don't know, I don't really sell them. It's, it's a weird thing, I, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, there's a lot of cards that I've ripped that will either go to the grading or go on for sale. Uh, a lot of soccer here as well. And yeah, like I was saying before, I do like having the pre-labeled padded mailers, which makes everything much more efficient. So these are the pre-cut cardboard for slabs. Uh, and then yeah, if I get a, a slab order, pretty much chuck them in between there. Uh, painter's tape on on hand here, tape it all up, and then into the, into the padded mailer. We also have pre-cut cardboard for just normal top loaders. These fit perfectly. That's why everything's a mess because I've got a lot of cardboard here that I just cut up. Uh, yeah, I like to have it, like as you can see that I've cut a lot of cardboard. Cutting cardboard hurts a lot, but yeah, it saves a lot of time leading into the future. Stack more of top loaders here. Don't know what else there is. I mean, lint roller to, to kind of get this all clear. Under here, we'd have a lot of empty boxes that I use for shipping. If someone buys a bulk lot of cards off me, I uh, tend to use these boxes, try to reuse, recycle, all that sort of stuff. And also can't forget the most important part of labeling sports cards, a good old Dymo label writer. Highly recommend you get one of these if you're doing regular sales, even if you have an eBay store, because you don't have to worry about handwriting or return to sender sort of mail. It literally is clean, it comes straight out. Uh, I do kind of wish I had one that was wireless because this one has a cord and I have to bring my laptop up here every time, but yeah, highly recommend you get one of these. Uh, and if you have the budget, get one that's wireless. So yeah, guys, that's how I organize my sports cards. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Also let me know how you guys do it and perhaps maybe there's a better way or method of me doing it. And yeah, as always guys, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in future videos. Take care.